All right, 97 1. I have asked you a very simple question. You have two choices tonight. You can watch Anibal Sanchez and his firework factory on the mound as he just presses the button of, of firework detonation again and again and again. Pretend Anibal is a fireworks barge on the mound. The team has lost its last nine games in which Anibal has pitched. Um, he simply gives you no chance to win. Or you're forced to watch the Republican National Convention, which, regardless of your politics, is impossible to navigate through. I still don't know what I watched last night. It was just a series of people yelling at me. (laughs) (laughs) They were yelling. And the same speech I heard from Michelle Obama eight years ago. It was amazing. Mike, let me me say something. Uh, I was on Twitter last night, and I brought up, I I said the same, why is everybody yelling? And, of course, I got some angry tweets. Wow, you do a show with a guy that yells all the time. What's the difference? And I'm just like, well... A lot of times, you know, we're just here and it gets passionate and everything. And they're just screaming and screaming and screaming. But the people in the crowd, those people, that's the scariest group in the world right there. The people in the crowd screaming, yelling, chanting. You would have thought they were at a basketball game. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Ticket texts are coming in. Confirmed. Jeff Lesson wrote Melania Trump's speech. That's a bit of a low blow. It is. I'm still waiting for Trump to say, prank is on you guys. I'm actually not running. This country is full of idiots. Mike, the scary part is that those nuts in the crowd are not convention fan. Those are delegates we voted for in the primaries. That's from Max and Auburn Hills. That is true. But let me defend the voters. You don't know exactly who you're voting for. You're just voting for a candidate. Uh, I'd pick to watch Annabelle tonight. I'll pick sports over politics, even if my team gets rocked, Tony and McComb. I knew the question before you finished, Mike. Annabelle all day. Uh, Question. Can I have a bottle of booze and NyQuil next to me? That's from John (laughs) at work. If you've got to dedicate three hours to it tonight, Annabelle's Firework Factory or the Republican National Big Top Circus? Which is it? You don't get to flip channels. Terry? Got my answer. I know. Mine is easy. I know what you're going to say. I would watch... The train wreck, and they're both train wrecks of Anibal Sanchez. <gasps> Absolutely. What? Mike, oh, here's why. I oh, feel like I, David, I feel like I don't even know him anymore. Here's why. He came on the air yesterday after vacation, all big and bad. Oh, I'm on a staycation, dog. <laughs> oh, I'm primed. I primed my pump this week. I'm ready for four big nights of RNC. And now one night later. You're off the Gus bus, huh? I don't know but, what to say. Here's why, Mike. Anibal Sanchez is such a train wreck. I just want to see... Fireworks factory. Right. I want to see him get lit yeah. up. The right, de- that's the, it. The detonation station. And the 3-2 pitch. <laughs> and Nunez, deep to right. Here comes the changeup. Yep, right there. <laughs> this, no, is, but, this is what I mean. Annabelle is on a fireworks barge in charge of detonation. Right. I am, look, I think he should never, ever pitch again for the Tigers. Ever. And the 2-1. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm curious. I am curious if he's going to get lit up by the Minnesota Twins. Mike, if he gets lit up tonight, Doug, he should never pitch right, again. Let me- Yes, they are. Oh, the there three two. <laughs> <laughs> Doug had a stat, and I forget where he found it. We'll have to roll tape on this. But he ro- he he had a stat that the Twins have scored like the most runs in the league or the AL in the last month. Really? Not that you would know from last night. No. Or from the ghastly lineup they put out there. But the point is, glass is half full, my friend. Thank you, Doug. The issue is. You have to force yourself into the fireworks factory or the RNC. You've chosen Annabal. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the people, see where they're at. It's a brutal television night tonight. <laughs> this yeah, is thanks gonna... for that. What happens if you're going to the game? Uh, I guess you're watching Annabal. Like, but no, no, but how does it feel knowing that you're going and your team basically has no chance? Well, but, but it's Minnesota, so you do have a chance. All right, let's go over to Andy. Andy seven one. What's up, Andy? How's it going, guys? Andy. What what choice will you make here, Andy, with your Tuesday night? 
Oh man, this is this is a tough one. Uh, if I could say one thing before this, uh, I just want to point out that uh, I agree with Terry that um, we basically have no really choice in president, but uh, there are like 450 plus congressmen up for election. I think that will uh, make a bigger uh, impact in our country than anything if we uh, actually do research and find people who are completely corrupted by money and politics. I think that is a big uh, thing we should do. Okay. Um, but besides that, uh, I think I would have to go with uh, watching Sanchez for the same reason as Terry. Uh, personally, uh, <laughs> last night I uh, Fade? flipped channels, but... How did you... Uh, hold on. Tell me this right now. Andy, come on now. Don't tell me you sat down and watched that whole game. That game last night was anesthesia for the soul. Oh, I was about to fall asleep. I had to turn to the RNC to even wake myself up. <laughs> That, that I mean, look, they won. They needed the W. You got a nice break when Cleveland's bullpen imploded and detonated. Listen, I know. bottom line, hey, you, you take the wins any way you get them. But, man, on a Monday night, maybe you get a little case of the Mondays. Mm -hmm. That was a tough game to make it through. I'm tired of these Monday games. I'd rather see them on Tuesday. It's just like teams are not ready to play on Monday or whatever reason. Indians, I'll tell you, that's the big thing. We talked about it. Indians got starting pitching. They got it again last night. Kluber uh, shut out through seven. I think he hurt his calf or something like that. The point is, the Indians' weak point is that seventh, eighth inning guy. This is Brian Shaw guy or whatever his name, whatever his name. He's awful. That's why all the reports are out. The Indians are looking to go get Andrew Miller. Right. Now, if the Indians acquire a lockdown setup guy or just really good bullpen arm, it's going to make them even tougher. But last night, you caught a big break. Their bullpen melted down. You did your job scoring one run. That's a big bonus. Get yourself five and a half out. Look at the little twins. They scored 14 runs against the Phillies, 17 against the Rangers, 11 against the A's, 10 against the Rangers again, 8 and 15. Yeah, how'd and they then, do, then how'd the they rest do last of them. night. Yeah. Last night they had some of the most unprofessional bats you'll ever see, including what? this Byron Buxton who stinks. But that, they've lost three of four, though. They've lost a lot of a lot. Look at well, the I'm record. Saying, what is the twins record scored right now? They scored a lot of runs recently. All right, let me go to Mike, 97-1. Hi, Mike. How you doing? Good, man. Mike, hey, what is your... Off, you guys, you guys got to be nice to me because I'm a minister, so be kind. Okay, listen, I'm not oh. saying a word. Mike, I just want to know what you're doing with your Tuesday night you, here. You think that minister title is going to save you? Get oh, out of no, here. No, 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 <laughs> You stop right well, now. I, I, I'll I stop. Go I, ahead. I do, I do tend to be an optimist, so... Okay. Okay. All right, well, they're both political theater. So, I mean, either way, because it has to be political with Osmus because he, apparently he doesn't know the definition of insanity when it comes to Sanchez. Okay. So my pick would definitely be the RNC. Wow, going away from Tiger Baseball. Mm. Now, we need to build that it, a it, wall. It, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Donald Trump interrupted now, I you. I think somebody needs to build a wall between Osmus and, and Sanchez. Oh, my God. All right, yeah. so you're, you're choosing the RNC for the possibility of organic drama versus insanity of pitching Sanchez again. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Because I'm going to get political theater either way, so I might as well be entertained and find out what's going to happen in November. There you go. Mike's going to go with, with the real deal. He's going to go political tonight. I, I tell you, if you got tickets to tonight's game, that's a tough spot. You can always leave early and like go to a restaurant or something. You got yeah, you got to go. I think there's alternative fun to be had if Sanchez goes. Out, Rieger goes. Yeah, hey, I think he'll give you four innings and five runs tonight. I'm like, or <laughs> or you could be like me, just go to the game, take a picture with a woman with a, a star on her breast. Uh, have a couple of drinks and go. Don't give a damn. Wait, serious question though. Yeah. I mean, wait, was the star? It was right in the, the middle of, middle of her chest. It was a so star in the cleavage area. It was the. It wasn't on the tatalas, but it was right in the middle, like here. I'm sorry. Here. I, it, it, I don't know why <laughs> Doug and here. the rest of the station raises things. It's right here. So it was like on her right chest in the plate, middle, her sternum. Chest plate, but above. Oh, that's got to. That's really got to hurt. Yeah. I thought you meant it was like literally on her boob and like you were uh, taking illicit photos. No, on her chest, but not on the boobular area. <laughs> and she had a lot of tattoos. And you know what she said? She said I was cute. That's right. She said Whoa. I was cute. Yes, sir. Sully. <laughs> Sully. <laughs> The boobular area. <laughs> <laughs> 97 1.